up my baddies and my bad boys it's your girl ming but y'all already knew that in this video guys this is going to be a follow-up of my baddies girl talk series period y'all so in today's episode we're going to be talking about toxicity slash toxic relationships y'all i was pretty much done with that series but i decided to bring her back <laughs> bring it back y'all so yeah y'all we about to get into this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe and we about to get right into the episode y'all Okay, guys, so before I get started with the episode, I'm going to give you definitions of what I'm talking about so you guys can be up to date. So, what is being toxic? What's being toxic, y'all? Put it in the comments what y'all think being toxic is. But the Google definition of being toxic is, it says, a toxic person is anyone whose behavior adds negativity and upset your life. And the signs of being toxic are they gaslight or lie to you. They don't apologize properly. They don't understand how their behavior makes others feel. They think they're superior to others. They see themselves as a victim of their own behavior. People change their people can't change their toxic personality traits. Now, you guys, we're going to um, Google what is being toxic in a relationship. Okay. It says a toxic relationship is one that is unhealthy, di that has undi unhealthy dynamics and causes you distress or harm because you're unsupported, manipulated, or disrespected. While we all have our moments and seasons of selfishness, a truly toxic person will take and take and take and give you nothing in return. And that's pretty much that on that, y'all. Like toxic people, they want to take, 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 and don't give anything back. And they think everything that they do is okay and it's really not and like google said they upset you and you can tell when somebody's toxic because somebody that's high vibrational it irritates them high vibrational people irritate toxic people and you're gonna know it because you're gonna see it yeah y'all they they be gaslighting people they be manipulating you trying to make it seem like you're in the wrong when the whole time they're in the wrong they don't say sorry they try to make it seem like you're the problem when really they're the problem. And it's just like, go go, go get some help. Like, go go get your shit together. Like, period. My best advice for toxic people, stop being toxic. Or if you're around toxic people, get away from them. Because, honey, they're going to try to break your soul. Toxic people are like leeches, baby. Once they know that they can be toxic to you they're gonna leech onto you like a leech and they're gonna suck the positivity out of you they're gonna suck the serene out of you they're gonna suck the love out of you any positive anything that you have to offer the world they're going to leech onto you your spirit your aura and they're gonna suck the life out of you and if you allow them to do that baddies bad boys they're going to do it but guess what we're not letting them toxic people do that okay we're not doing that Another thing with toxic people is they do not take accountability. They could then have like stole something or whatever the case and they will not take accountability and say, hey, yeah, I stole it because da 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 da. Instead, they want to just keep on adding salt to injury. Like, like at this point, just give it up. Like all you have to do is hold yourself accountable for the stuff that you're doing and do a 360 and whoa shake back from it like and y'all another thing i hate is people like putting sugar on these toxic ass relationships that shit ain't cute these females be on social media like yeah i love me a toxic nigga or vice versa how is that cute y'all that burns me up i hate i hate with a passion when a female be like oh i love a toxic man i love a toxic if that's what you love, sis, you need to learn how to love yourself a little bit more. Because I'm pretty sure these little toxic, these little want, I love these toxic men as girls, do not love themselves. You sound stupid. Or you might be blinded by love. I'm going to need you to take them glasses off, sis. I'll get you some contacts. Get you some glasses, sis, so you can see what the fuck is going on. Period. And you're going to know when you're dealing with a toxic person in a relationship 
trust me y'all i've been in a toxic relationship before i already have i have a story time out on my channel so if you guys have not watched that go watch it i think it's a story time or my toxic ex or something like that but it's like you gotta scroll down my channel to find the video but it should be up but yeah y'all i live this life already i ain't new to this i'm true to this y'all i see the shit it's like when i see toxic people it's like i can see right in their soul and i can already know what the fuck is going on so when i see toxic people guess what i do i dip Nigga, I do. Because I'm not about to sit up here and be entertaining toxic ass people. Let alone a nigga. Like, what? No. Get your toxic ass on. Fuck, no. Like I told y'all, I've already been in a toxic relationship. I've seen what gaslighting looks like. I've seen what manipulation looks like. I've seen what love bombing looks like. I've seen what it is for people to not hold themselves accountable. All of that. The victim thing. The victim game. Y'all, people be so quick to play that victim game shit. Save that, sh that game for somebody that want to play that shit. Because Ming, Ming Ming don't want to play it. I already seen this before. I played this game with a motherfucker and they lost. So yeah. Yeah. They, 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 the toxic ass people, they love to play them little stupid ass mind games and shit. And they, they want to make it seem like they fuck with you. <laughs> and they just trying to mind fuck you. Like, you got to really... And that's another thing. When it comes to toxic people, you got to protect your soul, mind, heart, and energy, bro, and your mind. Because I don't know if I said mind, but I might have said mind. But you got to protect your mind, heart, soul, and energy. Because like I said, if you don't protect these things, that toxic person going to get on your body like a bitch and suck the soul out of you. Like, literally, suck the soul out of you. And by the time you know anything, you will be a fucking raisin. Because they done been to suck all your energy out of you. All your love, all your serene, all your euphoria, all your groovishness. Like, all of that shit. Who? So, y'all, please don't let these toxic-ass people get into your head. Don't let these toxic-ass people wreck your soul. They don't even have to be toxic. Don't be letting people break your soul, sis. Because at the end of the day, you still a baddie, you still a bad boy, and that's just that on that. Period. I'm pretty much almost at the end of this video, y'all, but I wanted to cover the different types of ways of people being toxic. The first one is love bombing. I didn't know what love bombing was until my ex. It's pretty much where somebody is showing you excessive affection, or they're, they could be buying you gifts, they could be physically touching you they could be anything that's catering to showing you physical affection or they're spoiling you or whatever if they're overdoing it they're love bombing you and <clears throat> a lot of times people think that is the way to go um you know because to be honest with y'all that shit come with a price it comes with a price y'all you may people don't understand space or you being like oh you might not even be that type of person but, like I said, it comes with a price. They're going to do all that shit for you, but they feel like, oh, because I'm helping you out and I'm giving you money and I'm taking care of you, woo -woo, that they can be toxic. No, you cannot be toxic. If that's what your terms and conditions are for you to act how you want to act, to the left, to the left, to the left, bye. Get the bread in the head, then leave, y'all, period. Run. Run. Like, I'm telling y'all, Run another thing toxic people like to do they like to gaslight you they like to make you question your reality and then you will literally be sitting there thinking in your head like oh shit is that really that like they will literally have you like thinking like oh shit like but if you smart and you woke and you got that third eye that don't nobody see but you know it's there you're gonna be tapped in to be like child please i see what you're trying to do <laughs> you ain't finna get me <laughs> you ain't finna get me period you not gonna do it y'all you not gonna do it yeah y'all please be awoke please be awoke y'all and i think the last one is like manipulation they really try to like mentally abuse you and that's another thing niggas when they when you be in a relationship with toxic ass people they try to financially abuse you they try to mentally abuse you they emotionally abuse you you know, sometimes they can physically abuse you. You know what I'm saying? And they can verbally abuse you. Y'all already seen this on the internet. The whole blue face and Krishan dynamic. That shit was toxic. And it wasn't one-sided. It was both-sided. But it was only like that because it was two people in a trauma-bonded relationship. 
trying to be in love but they just so happen to be crazy in love and it's like the relationship could have been a beautiful thing minus the toxicity minus the crazy there's nothing wrong with loving your man but if you want to be in a healthy relationship you gotta have healthy ways y'all and that's just that on that and also y'all this is my last tip for y'all i look at anybody in my life or whatever as an insurance policy my life is like an insurance policy and this goes in with the toxic people you have your benefit your beneficiaries and then you have your liability if these people that you're around whether you're dating them whatever if they're a beneficiary to your life keep them around they're not draining you good it's not good for, it's not good for people to drain you you need to get rid of them people now if they are a liability they're probably draining you they're probably gaslighting you they're probably love bombing you being toxic you feel me get rid of them people asap don't don't try to see if they need to stay around no when someone shows you who they are believe them believe them period and that's just that on that y'all that's pretty much the end of this episode y'all if y'all like this episode and any of my episode my other episodes y'all make sure you like comment subscribe y'all period because i was knocking them out always remember you're beautiful guys and y'all know what i'm doing what are we doing y'all what are we doing what are we doing y'all we're living thriving and growing over here my babies i will see you baddies and bad boys in my very next video <laughs> peace and love